What's up guys, David Fall here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. On today's tutorial, I wanna show you guys how to create a fade and connect the fade to the top. But most importantly, I wanna show you my three steps the guides that I create to be able to create a nice fade and those nice tones. Also, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the shape up and how to uh, detail the haircut so it looks a lot better, okay? So if you guys are interested in learning how to do this, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna separate the top from the sides. Why am I gonna do that? Just to make it easier for myself to create my, my haircut, right? I, I believe that the more control you have over what you're doing, the better the outcome, right? So in every haircut that I do, if I'm going to do something longer on top and shorter on the sides, I will always start from the top and fade down from there. If I'm gonna do some type of scissor work, I always section my hair to make it easier for myself, right? So I always gonna end up doing a horseshoe parting, uh, but it's gonna obviously the horseshoe your partner is going to look different depending on the client's head shape, growth pattern, all those variables. Now, I'm using a number three with the lever open. In this case, I'm using a detachable, but it's the same thing as a number three with the lever open. So if you don't have a detachable, it doesn't matter. You can use a number three with the lever open. You now you can see I'm using my comb to kind of feed the hair into the, the blade. That allows me to create more like a heavy line, but I, like that is, is I know exactly how high am I going to go with the rest of my guides, right? So this is going to dictate the, how the haircut is going to transition from the fade to the top. Now I'm using my machine with the lever closed and I always create the, this guide with my machine lever closed. Some people create it with a trimmer but what I have noticed especially for beginner barbers when you create this guide with your trimmer it makes it harder for them to remove it. So I feel like if you do it with the machine closed it makes it a lot easier because you are going to use the machine with lever closed anyways to erase that line so it makes it a lot easier always keep in mind that whatever tool you use to create a guide you're gonna need you're gonna need the same tool to remove it okay now we're using a number one with the lever closed right and that's gonna be our second guide this guide is gonna be about a fingers width uh, but also keep in mind that if the client has a bigger head like bigger profile then you can make your guides a little bit bigger if your client has a smaller profile a smaller head then you, your guides are going to have to be a little bit tighter. So always keep in mind, you know, I can show you all the steps on how to do something, but obviously every client is different. So uh, you're going to have to adjust that haircut of those steps to what the client wants and what the client has, right? So in this case, as you can see, I'm doing more like a mid fade on the sides, but the back is going to be a drop fade because that's how the client's head uh, is, right? So I'm trying to follow that, 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 client, that shape to make it, more tailored to what the client to that client right every client is different but i want to i want the haircuts to be tailored to that specific client so in this case now i'm using a trimmer to remove all the hair from the bottom and then i'm using my shaver always remember to keep some space between every step so if i'm using a the shaver then there's going to be a little a little gap between the shaver and the trimmer and there's going to be a little gap between the trimmer and the zero so this always has to be a little space if you make your guides too tight to one on top of the other you're going to have a line that even if you fade it well you're still going to have a line because there's not space between guides so always keep that in mind because it's extremely important uh, if you want a nice fade and nice outcome to leave enough space in between Okay, so now we're going to start down fading and I'm going to use a number three open again. And this is just going to uh, connect with the top, whatever extra access here that I see, the number three lever open is going to connect or you can also use a number four. What you're going to notice with a lot of fades is that by the time that you finish the fade, if you see uh, the, 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 the length of the hair around the parallel ridge or where the hair rounds, it's also always going to be like a number three or four. So sometimes you don't have to use anything higher than that because of that risk. But if you do need it, go ahead and do it. Uh, now I'm using a one and a half lever open and then I'm going to close that lever and I'm going to be working on that one guy right there, right before the number one that we created. So this is why it's important to create your guides because like that it's easier to know exactly what you're working on, right? Now I'm using a half or a 0.5 and I'm going to continue fading that one guy that you guys can see there lever open and then I'm going to close that lever only halfway I never close the lever fully on the half and the reason is because there's a possibility that you're going to cut it shorter than it needs to be so I only close guides and I close them until I notice that 
I don't need to close them anymore. So uh, sometimes I don't fully close the lever. Sometimes I use close it a little bit, sometimes a little bit more than, than half. So it, it's gonna depend on, on what you see, right? Another thing, another tip that I can give you is like, make sure you're holding the clipper very softly uh, because this allows you to have a better movement of what you're trying to do, right? So if you have, if you hold your clipper too tightly, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna probably create guides, uh, more extra guides for yourself, just because you're not allowing the clipper to kind of glide, uh, you know, following the head shape. So just important, make sure you the clipper is not too tight in your hand, it's a little bit more loose. Now we'll continue with that. In this case, as you can see, he has a little bit of dark spot. So at that point, I did close the lever, but only on the dark spots. Now, uh, we're gonna continue filling the last part. I usually recommend to start lever open and then close it little by little. And then if you see that it's still a guide, then you can go the opposite. You can start close and then open it little by little. Why do I recommend to start open and then close? Because it allows you to um, maybe have a little bit more of uh, forgiveness in the sense that if you start with lever close, you might go a little bit too high and then you might get scared and start taking the fade higher. But if you start open and you close it little by little, you might end up with a little bit of guide at the bottom, but that's fine because you can always remove it, right? It's always easier to cut than once it's already cut, there's nothing you can do. So I always keep that in mind. That's why I always start all my haircuts the same way, right? I start lever open and then close it little by little. That's all my, I always do the same steps. And then just continue working on it, open the lever close the lever just play around with it uh, i know this is the hardest part for a beginner is to know exactly how high to go and like what to touch up and not but remember you have a mirror the mirror will let definitely tell you the truth it will tell you exactly what needs to be fixed and what is not fixed you know what i mean so uh, always use your mirror don't trust your eyes until you are at that point right that when you can see exactly the mistakes use your mirror use your phone put the camera and see if there's something that doesn't look good then that is easier to fix now I'm using, uh, in this case, I'm using my Babyliss uh, Low Pro to create the, um, the shape up. And it was a very natural shape up, nothing to push back just because that's not what the client wanted. They wanted something a little more kind of like, like nicely looking, but not to push back, right? All the tools that I'm using in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to leave the link for all the tools in the description. And I also have some discount codes for you guys. So if you guys are trying to get any of those tools, then you go, you're going to save up some money. So now I'm using my shaver, I'm sorry, my razor, and I did use a hot towel and a shave gel. Always keep, keep in mind to make sure you uh, uh, put in any type of shaving product on your client before you, you shave it. Now I'm putting a little bit of product on the top and you can see a little bit of a matte finish clay just to kind of give you that messy kind of look to it uh, just because that's what the client was looking for. So you want to use a product that is just going to create that that texture that you're looking for. Obviously, make sure you texture the hair with your scissors and or, or razor or whatever tool you use to create texture. And then I apply a little bit of hairspray just to keep it in place. And that's it. That's, that's also how I style it when I tell clients. I always teach all my clients how to style the hair because I think it's a service that we need to offer our own clients because if they cannot replicate the style that you did at home then you are doing a disservice to them saying so, this is how the client looked before and this is how he looks now i think he looks great i think the fit is very nice nice shape to the whole haircut the top has a lot of texture how he wanted and a very happy client and that's it guys for today's video don't forget to subscribe and like it leave me a comment below if you guys have any ideas for more um, content from me and i'll see you guys on the next one Take care.